student will be able to create and share a document or other Google Drive file type with a colleague for collaboration. Sharing in Google is one of the best features that it has to offer. Think about that time if you, let's say, have a co-teacher or someone that is the same grade level and content as you, and you're trying to come up with an assignment or a common assessment, and you want to do it together. Rather than being forced to sit in the same room, which we all know, it just takes time, and work on this document on a word processor or something similar, now you can use Google to collaborate from completely different places. I'll show you some examples that my co uh, content area person and I share often and it really makes our lives and our students um, classroom lives a lot better. So again, sharing with people has a multitude of, of ways that it is great. You can share with a colleague such as a co-teacher or an intervention specialist and these people can now work on a lesson plan or an assignment together. For teachers and students, it's a wonderful tool to use for grading and assessing students' work in the classroom. My students share documents with me often and I will give them feedback or a grade with just a few clicks or comments. And for students, it gives them the ability to work on projects and documents together without being in the same room. Think about those times in school when you had to meet after school and you know one person didn't show up or somebody had practice and it was really complicated to find a time to meet. Now students can work on the same document together. They can have a little chat room going. They can figure out what they need to include, what they need to take out with just some conversation online, which completely changes our way of teaching and thinking, but at this point it really does enhance student learning. So what we're going to learn today are the two ways to share a document in Google. Let's go to our sample document that we created earlier in Objective A and we are going to right click on that document and it brings up a lot of options. When we right click we can open it, we can preview it, and if you preview it it just pops up on your screen without actually opening the file which can be nice. It won't let you edit but it can let you preview the document. We can share which we'll come back to, get the link for the document, move it, add the star, rename it, make a copy, download. So if we click share it's going to bring up a box that gives us options and I'm actually going to click on a different one because this is a sample I had earlier and I want you to see what it looks like completely unshared. So this document has not been shared with anyone. It's just mine. I'm the only one who has access to edit it. That's the first way to share. And I'm actually going to go into the document now because this is how I usually share because I'm working in the document and I want to show you this option as well. It's going to bring up that exact same screen. So again, you can access that anywhere. So if I click share, again, it's going to make me title the document first, which is a great thing so then you know exactly what you're sharing. The first thing that you want to look at here is entering the names or email addresses of someone that you want to share it with. So I'm actually going to share it with myself because I'm in a different account. And if I click send, I now have the capability to work on that document. Now, when you do that, when you type your name into Google here, there are a couple of options that you're giving this person that you're sharing this document with. When I shared it with myself, I gave myself the power to edit it meaning I have just as much power now on this document as the person that shared it with me. Let's say I want to share with someone and I just want to get their feedback. I just want to know what they're thinking or what edits could be made, but I don't want to hurt the structure of the document in any way. Giving them the ability to comment is a great feature because, and I'm going to click down here just to show you, this would give them the ability to add comments here. It would not give them the ability to take to touch anything in this actual file, which is a great option for getting feedback from a colleague or anyone really. The other option is just can view. So you don't want their comments, you don't want them to edit, you just want them to be able to view the documents. So that's sharing it with one individual person or a few people. You can type as many email addresses in here as you want. But if you want a great number of people to view the document, rather than typing their names over and over again, it's actually easier to go up here in the corner and click Get Shareable 
link. And when you get shareable link, there are a few different options. So I'm going to click that here. What I've just done is make this document view only to anyone who has this link in blue. This is a great option for, let's say, administrators who want to send out some kind of update to their staff or for teachers sending out information to parents. I use this option and actually put almost all of my class documents on my class web page, which is really helpful because then my students can access it, not touch it, not comment on it, make their own copies if they need it. So that's a great option. If you click below, you do give more options here as well. So anyone with the link can edit. So if you have a staff-wide survey or something that you want all in one document, that's a great option. Anyone with the link can comment and anyone with the link can view. So once you've clicked that, you do need to copy this link and send that link wherever you need it to go for the viewing audience. So our administrator a lot of the time will make this this way and then she will email out the link to us. And that makes us see it a lot easier if, than if she maybe shared it in Google. So those are your options for sharing. Again, sharing can be a great resource in and out of the classroom. You can also change these share settings at any time. So if I no longer wanted to share with Nikki Deem, I can click exit and she no longer has the ability to share. If I don't want anyone to view it anymore, I can make it off and only share it to specific people. So again, you can always change these settings at any time. If you have more questions, please access the training manual for Objective B.